Hey guys, and welcome back to Trust the Process with me, Savannah, on Super Thursday. Today we'll be interviewing Chloe. We have been with her amazing <laughs> screen printing movie with design. So, Chloe, before we get into that, tell us a little about yourself. Um, so, I am a second year student here at the Advertising Graphic Design Program. I will be graduating in May. I'm super excited. This entire experience here has been so rewarding, so fulfilling, and we have done a lot of designs over these past two years. Awesome. Yeah. So, <laughs> I heard today you're going to show us your death, till death do us, we do art. Till death we <laughs> do art. I can't art. say it right. <laughs> till, <laughs> death, yeah. till death Words are we hard. do art. There you go. Yes. <laughs> um, so, this is just my fun, kind of psychedelic um, ruby lith. Hand, it's hand cut ruby lith, three color design. And um, this one was really fun for me. I wanted to just kind of do a little creativity tip to, you know, the art, but make it kind of, you know, um, fun and funky with those bright pop of colors. Yeah. So what would you say that how you begin your research process with this project? So with the research, for me, I'm very visual. I just looked up a lot of different um, illustrations of mushrooms, the skull, um, even the typography, wanted to do it like more of like a hippie style. So mm -hmm. getting that research as far as seeing it visually is what works best for me. Okay, so how do you feel like you went through the thumbnailing process? Do you think you had a lot of strengths in that or did you feel like it wasn't kind of getting there at first? Um, actually, I got through it really quickly. I did everything on Procreate, and so I just started with the base sketch, and then from there, built the colors forward. Awesome. So, um, tell us a little bit about the screen printing process. Like, you know, how you had to cut the ruby lift a certain way, and then you went from not just normal screen printing, which is, you know, the plastisol based ink, but you had to do acrylic. So, talk, can you talk a little bit into that? Yeah, definitely. So once the um, design was ready to go and I knew what colors I was doing, I then had to separate each color. And from there, I cut out each design in the ruby lip. So I had three separate layers. Mm -hmm. And then we exposed the screens um, and I was able to print. And I started with the orange um, on the poster, gave it about a day to dry and then came back a couple days later. And then I went to the blue, which is like the mushrooms themselves, kind of the foundation of them, the stems. And from there, the pop of pink. I finished with the pink on the third one. So how the ruby lift process works is that first you get that red substrate. It almost looks like film in normal screen printing. You know, when you normally just print out the digital design, but in ruby lift, you're actually handcrafting this design. So there's no digital involved at all. And so, which is really great for artists, you know, <laughs> than digital designs. But, um, Anyway, so what you'll do with the ruby lift is you'll take an exacto knife, box cutter, your choice, and you will actually cut out the design and leave the design in the red, which is so different than normal screen printing where you know it is just printed on the acetate and you don't have to worry about it because the screen basically does it itself. Mm -hmm. However, with the ruby lift, the ink is actually going through the red. So the clear part will actually not be exposed to the screen. So of course, and you expose the ruby lift screen like you would a normal screen printing. You take the screen through the bath, you do the emulsion, and all that fun jazz. <laughs> and then you'll take it over to your screen printing lab or whatever you have. But this time with Ruby Lip, we actually use a vacuum press. So, and the vacuum press has it to where you need to line up the design exactly where you want it to be on paper. So you actually don't have to do it on a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And that's important because you want to make sure you're doing it like on a paper substrate because with the Ruby Lip, you're actually using water race acrylic ink, kind of like the ink you paint with. Right. And then, um, which is different from the screen printing because it's plastic salt, it's that thick, you know, you're going to have to take an army just to get it clean. Yeah, it's basically plastic and you have to yeah. cure it with heat, <laughs> basically. Yeah. And so, you'll make sure you use the acrylic base ink for your ruby lift um, and you'll basically just do it the same way. You grab your ink knife, lay the ink on the screen, take your squeegee line it up where you want it and just screen print like normal. But in the ruby lift process, um, you actually do a whole lot of prints mm -hmm. just to get make sure you get that one perfect print. So how did you really pick out those colors that you knew it was going to work with the black paper? On right. The so I chose the, back, the black substrate itself to be, I felt like those colors that complemented it better and made the details stand out rather than yeah. just a white substrate. Um, I really, the, the color palette I went with was more on the psychedelic side, so like oranges. I felt mm -hmm. like orange and pink mm -hmm. leaning that way is more psychedelic and yeah, kind definitely of like more complementary colors. Mm -hmm. I feel like it yeah. leans more psychedelic. Yeah, exactly. 
it is super cool. Like I love all the movement you have in yeah. it, but yeah, it, like it's unified together. I think it's super, super cool. Um, did you run into any like challenges and how did you overcome them? One of the challenges I kind of ran into was the actual process itself. Um, it definitely takes time. You have to prepare that time for each layer of color that you're doing. Um, the pink was my most challenging. I think it's because it was the final one to kind of right. line up everything with both of the other colors. And the screen was giving me a little bit of trouble and I just had to kept, like I had to keep washing the screen on the bottom because some of the pink uh, ink would like link out. Right. And um, But the pink was the worst one for me. But other than that, I made it through. <laughs> it Good is job. <laughs> well, it looks incredible. When you can tell you worked really hard Thank on it. You. I think it's something completely out of the ordinary. Now, is this something that's you know consistent throughout your portfolio? Do you have a, like a lot of stuff like this, or do you have a little bit of everything? Right, I might want to see coming soon in May. Exactly, <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. Um, so I do actually have a little bit of everything. Um, I think this one actually kind of opens up the. I would. I don't know. Would you say the. Um, the array of how many projects we have, you know, from right. digital marketing to this one is very yeah. production based. Very illustrative. Yeah. Very illustrative. Based. Yeah. Um, using the inks, it's just getting in there with your hands is so different than just being on the computer all day. So, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So, I just, um, for whenever you were creating this, the production part, so you had to do like each color individually, and you did like what, 40 sheets, I thought yes. you said? And yeah. then you have to wait for them to dry. Mm -hmm. Why so many? Like, so you have to do that many because you're really only going to get a couple good ones. How the colors end up lining up, the full coverage, once yeah. you're doing every single color, you have to kind of push it up to mm -hmm. get the few good ones that you might right. get. <laughs> so how did you feel, like, you know, you know, from a graphic design point of view, when you saw your vision really come to life and, like, exceeded your... Exactly. Yeah, that is actually, that is my favorite part of this entire process <laughs> is getting to see the final product and having that idea. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it's really exciting. Once I was finished with it, I was actually kind of like a relief, like, wow, it actually does look good and I'm proud yeah, of it. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel like everybody in here. So you're in the moment, so you're like, man, yeah, oh, I know. Work out. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're just going to keep going. That's exactly. why we trust the process because yes. you're like, oh, it don't look good right now, but maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end, I think it turned out really well. Everyone's been like, um, I know. Great at first, I did not even see the school because there's so much going on. Like, I know. It's like that pink really draws in the mm -hmm. mushrooms. You want to look at those, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, there's texture too. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's, like, ah! yeah. <laughs> it's super cool. So we'll post uh, pictures of this on um, our Instagram too, so everybody can yeah. can see it if they're just listening. Well, um, Chloe, you did an absolutely fantastic thank job. You guys. you guys, make sure you look for Chloe's portfolio mm -hmm. in the portfolio show May seventh. Yes. 7th. yes. Um, and that's all for trusting the process today. As you see, it's just kind of just going and keep moving forward with it, keep pushing with it, and you'll have something amazing just like Chloe did. And stay tuned for next week's episode. Ashley, do you want to speak into that before we yeah, sign so off? Yeah, so next week we are going to be interviewing an alumni of the program. I interview um, Kirsten Pierce, which she actually has a little bit of screen printing background as well, oh, so that will be super fun. interesting to talk to her about that. Um, but if you guys want to uh, learn more about the screen printing program we have here at CBCC or if you're interested in signing up, they have some classes available this summer in 2021, um, just contact Erin Tallman at a Tallman, um, sorry, a Tallman at cbcc.edu. It's really so. a tall man. <laughs> yeah, yes, he is remember. actually a tall man. <laughs> and we can personally speak into screen printing is so much fun. It really is. It's totally mm -hmm. worth it. So You get kind of dirty, but yeah. yeah it's, a <laughs> great, <laughs> cool. it's a great environment. But until Ashley's episode, we'll see you guys there. Yep. Bye. Bye.